teacher. Here we have one more new lesson in English. That is the lesson number 32, Helen Keller. Okay, this is the story about the Helen Keller. The story of my life, Helen Keller. This is the real story where the lady have returned her life own story. In this story, student, we have the bond between the teacher and the student and how she's overcome to her disability. The story taught you about the courage, patience, and the struggle. Without struggle, you cannot get each and anything. You need to do work hard. You need to have courage and you need to have patience also. So let's begin the story. This is the story of a child who become completely deaf not able to hear and completely blind, not able to see. Before she had learned to talk because of her own courage and also that of her wonderful teacher, she learned to talk because of her courage and because she have a good teacher, she learned to talk, read and write. She was able to go to school as well as college and to live a fully and happy life. Now. Helen was born in 1880 in a small town in the southern USA, that is in America. Now, at the age of 18, when she was beginning, when the age of 18, she was beginning to talk, she, began, she suddenly became terribly ill, that she fallen sick and very nearly died. Okay, when she recovered, that time period she was completely deaf and blind because at that, uh, that time period the doctor and the parents are understood that she's completely deaf not able to hear not able to speak properly it is very difficult for a deaf child it is very difficult for the deaf child to learn to talk because students or uh, the child if the child have the hearing power so they catch up the words and then after they learn how to be pronounced, how to be talk that a particular words. But here the Helen, Helen Keller, she is not able to hear it properly. So how she is be learned to spoke the new words. It is not an easy task to her. So most babies learn by the hearing other people talking. But the deaf child cannot hear anyone. So how can she know what talking sound like? Okay. For example, there is a small baby in your child. If you have a small baby in your child, if you do some action or this sound, they respond it because they able to hear it properly. They're able to see it properly. Right. But here the Helen Keller, she's not even to see properly. She's not even to hear properly. So she is not understand how to be pronounced the sound of the words, how to be talked. So that's the reason she is not able to talk properly. Many deaf people learn to leap read. Okay, leap reading. They become very clever at understanding what other people are saying by watching them very clearly. But Helen could not see what other people were doing. She remembered a few words she had known before she was ill. She remember few words she's known before she ill because after the ill she become deaf and blind. But before that, whatever she heard, for instance, she went on calling water Bawa, but she had to make sign for most things. She could shake her head for no and not for yes. Okay, so here she's simply doing a sign for no or yes, and she's remaining. Remember only the word that is the water, and she's called out wow, wow. just a small but just a, a little child. What young baby jo hote, wo kaise awas karte hain? A, u, m, pani ko dusre naam se bulate hain, ya milk ko dusre naam se bulate. Like uh, milk is mum mum, like this way. So she's called out the water is wow, wow. Okay. So she's remembered this thing because this incident has happened just before the ill of the Helen Keller. Now, because due to this reason, because due to this reason, her parents was upset. Even the Helen Keller was more upset. Okay. 
she do some kind of action like a yes or no put mean come and push means go but of course she could say very little this like and she completely depend on other people definitely she completely depend to other people because she is a deaf person helen had an active mind and a clever brain she is a very clever and intelligent child and wanted to do something and say everything any other child would do she used to get into terrible temper she has become very much anger when she could not understand what the other people are saying and or understand what others are wanted and she cannot be explained to herself okay when she cannot explain to herself and when she not understand what other people are doing at that moment she is terribly angry she is terribly angry and she is fighted very badly at that moment come to the next after that when helen was nearly 7 7 years old the anne sullivan came to teach her and look after her this is a clever and devoted teacher change helen's life now see her children this is the life Uh, this is the time when the helen's life is completely changed just because of the anne teacher okay she has entered the helen's life anne sullivan herself had been nearly blind she is herself also a nearly little bit blind and she taught in a blind school a blind people here anne had learned the finger spelling method she felt surely that this was the only way to talk to helen and teach her to say what she wanted now finger spelling method that means to write the spell, to write the words on her hand and when she fill the words fill the letters then only there is a communication between there is a communication with the helen okay so then after the sign she will spell the words onto her Helen, the Helen had become very sensitive to feel or things, much more sensitive than most people are. You know what, students? The normal people. We are the normal people. We are physically fit and fine. But those are not physically fit and fine. Are they are very sensitive. If they touch something, they immediately responded and they immediately understood what they are. Okay, because they are more sensitive. She could not. soon that the difference between the feel or one letter and another miss sullivan gave helen a doll she gave uh, helen a doll and write the spelling of doll okay write the spelling of the doll then after she gave the cat then after she gave the cake and write the spelling of this on her hand and helen obediently spelled them back okay she is trying to spell them back but she did not understand what it all meant and she soon grieve she soon gave up bored and unhappy because she did not understand what all this thing now for example students if i said you apple theek okay? hai when i call out the apple immediately in your mind there is a shape of the apple and the color of the apple right जैसे ही मैं एप्पल प्रोनाउंस करूंगी वैसे ही आपके दिमाग में एप्पल का शेप और एप्पल का कलर आ जाता है राइट सो हेयर द हेलन शी इज नॉट एबल टू सी उसे तो पता ही नहीं ये सारी चीजें क्या है शी इज ओनली द सेइंग ऑल दिस थिंग रिपीटिंग आफ्टर हर टीचर बट विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू लर्न समथिंग इट इज रियली फील बोर्ड अगर मैं आपको कुछ सिखाऊंगी और आपको समझ में नहीं आएगा सो यू रियली फील बोर्ड एंड अनहैप्पी एट दैट टाइम so that is the same thing is going between the helen and keller that she is under uh, she is just spell out the words but she is don't understand what is that actually she touch the thing so uh, she is she touch the spoon she touch the cake she touch the doll she is no that d o l l this is doll but what is that she is don't understand usse samajh mein nahi aa raha because she is not able to see okay so it is quite difficult quite no this is extremely difficult to helen keller to understand all this thing then after she will not try and any more and poor anne sullivan did not know what to do now next 
because her teacher not understand now how to explain her then one day what happened that the teacher that means the ana the ana took helen outside to the water pump as the water spill into the helen's mug the mug is there in her hand is overflowed on her hand when she when she touch when she felt the water immediately the teacher spelled right the word w a t e r on her another hand suddenly hannah's face lit up because uh, because she heard the water before the ill she remembered that she felt this water before the ill and she called out that water wow wow right so when she touched the water she understand this is the water okay that this is a cold wet stuff it is called out the water and it's come to her in a flesh that everything has a name now she is understand whatever things we have in our surrounding they have their name okay jo bhi cheez nature mein hai ya man made mein hai that have the name if you look in your surrounding aisa kuch bhi nahi hai that there is a no name of that particular things okay so everything whatever we have at our home in our surrounding they have their name for example our jaise ki road name bhi hote area name bhi hote buildings name hote trees ki a uh, different trees have their own name also the flowers have their own names also so whatever thing we have present they have the name they have the different features they have the different structure they have the shapes she is not able to see but when she touch she is understood that the shapes is different of the doll the shapes of different of the cat the cake is different the cake is used to eat the taste is different the cat the cat fur is soft the cat is also an animal she is understood she has learned each and everything slowly and slowly then after touching her little sister then after touching her little sister then the teacher write the name of baby b a b y on her hand which was one of the words miss tulivan had shown her all the day and for days after helen learned something a new and she is demanding to her teacher please spell out something new and then after she is de demanding that should spell her name for her name in her hand what is her name her spelling she becomes so excited she could hardly control herself at the last word began to her a meaning for her her naam ka ek meaning hota hai she then learned the names of the action what they are the action as well as the sit stand run walk do you uh, do you remember students your first and second standard or your senior kg nursery where the teacher taught you to stand up with an action okay aapko teacher wo time pe sikhati hogi stand up and she is doing with the hands of action stand up sit down like this way why she is taught you with an action and words because you people at that time understood that stand up we should stand and sit means we have to sit because you are the new child because you are the first standers very young age you don't know the english language so that's the reason teacher taught you the new words with an action understood abhi to nahi kar sakte because you are a grown up child but at that time you are a small age तो वो टाइम के लिए आपको भी नहीं इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज नहीं होता है करेक्ट एवरीवन हैव द डिफरेंट मदर टंग समार हिंदी समार मराठी तेलुगु डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज डिफरेंट मदर टंग्स यू हैव इंग्लिश इज न्यू फॉर यू इन अ बिगनिंग सो एट दैट द रीजन इन अ नर्सरी केजी फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड टीचर थॉट यू न्यू वर्ड्स विद एन एक्शन ओके फोल्ड योर हैंड एट दैट टाइम टीचर ऑल्सो डूइंग द एक्शन ऑफ फोल्ड योर हैंड why to taught you what is actually fold your hands with an action understood children so then after she is grew up now that she had started to learn with very quick brain and good memory learned very fast she learn each and everything now the next thing was to learn 
to talk aloud. Now to talk aloud for that, the parents specially called out the special teacher who taught her how to move her lips and the tongue. Okay. So the Helen quickly learned to talk. So the Helen quickly learned to talk that how to be talk. Okay. But she cannot be pronounced properly. But then too, she's She's do hard work to learn this. After this me, she could talk with people who did not know the finger spelling method. So long as they, she spoke distinctly. As all was hard work needed, patience by both pupil and teacher and long practice. Then after she learned to speak French and German. Now you people was thinking that how she's be learned. See, student, that is the method, the system of writing is called, it's called Braille. The Braille, they having the different alphabets. We have the alphabets like A, B, C, D. Here you can see in a down, there are the letters. But for the blind people, they have the dots. Okay, A dots, two dots. And the same thing is for the numbers also, student, they have the dots. Okay. And this is not a simple dot. This is the raised dot. This is the raised dot. So when the blind person touch the dots, they able to read. There is a one dot. So that means this is the A. There is a two dot in a, in a horizontal way. So that is the alphabet B. Okay. So raised dot. Okay. So when they touch the dot, they able to read the alphabet and the numbers. All right. So... This is for the blind child. Then after Helen was determined to go to the university to take a degree. Now she want to take the degree. See the students. Now the child who is seven years old, she is not able to speak, see, hear properly. Now she is able to go to, to admit in a university, university and take a degree. She was 20. She was now 20. She set for the entrance examination in Radiflex College, one of the best college in America. That is a huge and best college. The paper was set in Braille. As I explained you, she typed her answer. She could not able to read the question. So at that time, the teacher helped her. She had no difficulty in passing the examination. She, she passed her entrance exam, which is very difficult and hard exam back then too she's passed now here the miss Sullivan is always there with have ha uh, Helen to help her at the university in the end this girl who had seven in the end student see she get the degree also due to her dif disability she passed she take the degree she appointed in a university. Just see students, this is a very difficult challenge, but then too she passed. Now at the end of this students who at seven lived in a dark world, unable to hear a spook. Now she won high university honor. Throughout her life, she spelled other blind people to find courage. Now she is her, she is fully her life spent that people who are find a courage. She traveled all over the world to inspiring everyone by her example. Hannah Keller lived a ripe old age of 88. She passed away just because of old age she's passed away in 1968. Okay, so this is the story of Helen Keller. She inspired us a lot. Here she has written her book in that book her story is there. If the person write a her story, that is called an autobiography. And if the another person, if if the another person write that person's story, that is called a biography. Okay. So here are the children. Our lesson.